Hey guys, today I have a compilation of ghost tricks and exploits for visual effects, time saving, and resources. One of the newer ghosts, the Boy Shell, is the first ghost to have Guiding Light and Public Defender. It's basically the free version of a fire team medallion. When you die, each ghost can affect what appears around your revive orb. Whether it's nothing, little spikes, parts of a servitor, or in this case, a life preserver. One of the more unique death animations. When you scan things, your ghost isn't always scanning in an upright position. It's different for different scannables. Most ghosts are symmetrical, but it's really noticeable with this shell. Upside down is rather funny. Another trick with scanning is quick scan. This can save a second whenever you're scanning something. Usually your ghost will leave your hand and fly into the object. You can skip that animation. When you're done holding the scan button, double tap to bring out and put away your ghost. That skips the ghost flying animation, saving you one second for speedrun strikes. This works in Arms Dealer, Sabbath and Song, Exodus Crash, and so forth. Another unique ghost is the Nine Lives Shell. This ghost is modeled after a cat for Halloween. When you pull out your ghost, it will meow. These audio files are from the small gifts given to the cat statues in the Dreaming City. So there are a few different meows that are randomly chosen from. Another cool feature is the eye. The cat eye will react to light in the surroundings. The pupil will get smaller when next to light and larger in the dark. A nice little added effect. The most damaged ghost in the game is the story version of the last city shell damaged. After the story you get a somewhat damaged looking ghost. During the storyline however, you get one that's falling apart. If you use an item manager to steal that ghost and put it on another character during the mission, you can keep this exclusive version of the ghost, making it the most broken ghost in Destiny. Some ghosts actually emit light. Other than flashlight mode, you can see some ghosts light up dark areas. Some legendary ghost projections change color based on your equipped subclass. So if you're on a solar subclass, they will glow orange, blue for arc, and purple for void adding another level of customization for your guardian. Some ghosts have planet-specific perk rolls. Sometimes you may notice that re-rolling a ghost will only give you perks on a specific destination. This can help out if you're looking for specific destination bonuses like extractor perks. You can get extra tokens from gifts. You get gifts of tokens from Vanguard or Crucible Boons, but you can get bonus tokens by using perks when you open them. So hold on to a stack of gifts until you set up. For Crucible Gifts, you want to be in a match with the Crucible Scanner perk. Sometimes you will get 6 tokens instead of the usual 5. You can get 6, 7, 8, and maybe even 9 Vanguard tokens from one gift. You want to have an exotic ghost with Vanguard Scanner perk, and also a Scanner perk for a planet destination. Then equip the Nightfall Emblem for a strike on that destination. Load into that strike from the Director. When you load into the strike, open all your Vanguard Gifts. This gives you more tokens for free, 5 from the original gift, and then a chance for more with the emblem and the two ghost perks. You used to be able to add Speed Demon to Season 6 Ghost Shells by using the Destiny Companion app, even allowing you to get two Speed Demon perks on a single ghost. This allowed you to combine Speed Demon with Guiding Light or with Public Defender. Bungie caught wind of this and disabled it though. Any ghosts with double perks still remain. Cheese forever, Guardian.